Eventually, we're gonna turn it around in Battle Royale. Hopefully, today is that day. I am, what, 29 and four in ranked seasons. We made it to World Series in 32 games. We're making our way towards a 1,000 rating in ranked seasons, but for some reason, I think in five Battle Royale runs this year, we haven't won more than six games. We've won less, we've forfeited four out of our five drafts, I believe. It's been brutal. We, we gotta turn it around, man. I want that 12-0 banner like we had last year. We, won, we went 12-0 three or four times last year. I can't seem to get to nine wins this season. I'm snake bitten in Battle Royale, but we're gonna turn it around. Hopefully today is that day. We're gonna start this draft in just a few seconds. Just wanna let you guys know, make sure you hit that Instagram link in the description box down below. My Instagram name is DannyRob underscore 11. Definitely go shoot me a follow. I'm doing a giveaway tomorrow and Wednesday over there on the ground for 10,000 followers. I'd appreciate it if you helped out now. Let's hop into this draft. 1,500 stubs to get in. Our first round is a very, very good first round. Wow. 99 Signature Series Willie Mays pops up, and we are about to debut him on Ranked Seasons tomorrow. Brooks Robinson Carters, I feel like he's very underrated in that uh, level 100 pack. I have not played with him yet. I have had no success with Frank Thomas in six games batting 190. I'm gonna take Willie Mays. We'll get a little practice with him on BR before we debut him tomorrow on the ranked seasons team. Common round pops up, gotta go with the common starter. Next round is a bronze round dance response. And eh, I don't like it. Mark Melanson. Let's take Andrew Triggs. We'll spend, okay, and then we get another common round to pop up. Perfect, Giovanni Gallardo. That guy rakes, by the way. Pitchers who rake on the squad. Now our second diamond round pops up and this one's tough. You got the 94 Don Mattingly, 93 Eddie Matthews, and then you got Mookie Betts who's plus 10 righty righty inside edge. I'm batting 250 with him. Only five plate appearances though with Mookie Betts. It's Eddie Matthews, the guy. We're batting 353 with him so far this year. He had an inside the park home run in ranked seasons that was apparently not, I guess they gave me a triple on that inside the park home run that we won World Series on. I don't know. But I think I might, I don't know, this is tough, because Mookie's the diamond outfielder too, he can run pretty good, which is very useful this year. That righty-righty is just, it's hard to say no to these hitting stats of Eddie Matthews. And I think because of that, I'm gonna get Eddie Matthews on the squad! Next round is a silver round. I like Will Harris, but he doesn't throw hard enough to take him over Encarnacion. Ed Wing on the squad in round number six. Round number seven is a gold round, and I gotta take David Peralta. I just love this card. He hits, well, you know what? I, I, I like Otani too. Otani's kind of, I don't want to say he's a poor man's Peralta because he's got the stronger arm and he actually has high, way higher power, which is interesting. Uh, Kimbrel, another really good card that we could potentially add to the bullpen. But I think I'm going to take this first gold round and I am going to take David Peralta. A little bit more well-rounded. He's got pretty good contact versus left, good vision. I know he's got a cheesy swing. We'll put him on our squad in the outfield. Next up, I would usually take Corey Seager here, but he has a huge negative inside edge. Well, I mean, I guess I can't harp on that too much because I'm only gonna play one game in this video and we'll play the rest of the run probably tomorrow. So that inside edge most likely will not be there. I'm gonna take Corey Seager. Let's, let's get Seager gaps on the squad. I haven't used them a lot this year, and I didn't use him a lot last year. He's a very popular player from our MLB The Show uh, 17 days. We'll get him back. We'll waste this round on Cam Bedrosian. Go to the common round. Okay, did not go to the common round. We got a silver round here, where I think I'm gonna take Nick Castellanos. It's a budget baller silver that I like to grab whenever he pops up. I'm gonna waste this round on Reynaldo Lopez. Try and finish the rotation. Go to the common. Did not go to the common. Blake Woods got a weird release. Throws pretty hard. I would say if there was ever a budget baller relief pitcher at bronze, that it would be Blake Wood. He's got a deceptive release, throws extremely hard, has a sinker splitter. I'm gonna take Blake Wood for the pen, and then a gold round pops up, and I think in this gold round, I'm actually going to take Drew Smiley. Get a gold lefty in our bullpen. It's our first good lefty. Drew Miley is on the squad. Next round is a silver round, and this, oh, this is tough. Jeff McNeil is a stud, stud. But Gary Sanchez is cheese. And you got Diego Castillo who throws 99 with a sinker cutter slider. Ooh, this is a tough round, boys. A very tough round. And I'm gonna go with my guy Gary Sanchez. Batting 375 with 10 bombs this year. I know he was a super cheesy player last year and power's been toned down a little bit, but I still rake with Gary Sanchez. So I'm gonna take him as my catcher behind the plate. And then we got another silver round that comes up here. We could finish out the room. I'm gonna take Brandon Morrow. Throws really, really hard. We'll throw him in the pen. 
Then we get another silver round to pop up once again. Archie Bradley, another righty. He throws extremely hard. He doesn't have a change up though. I like Glaber Torres, but I don't want to fill out our or our, our I don't want to fill out our lineup with a diamond round left because that could potentially be a really good diamond hitter. So I'm gonna take Archie Bradley. We'll put him in the bullpen. Next round is another silver round. Could finish out our bullpen here with Steve Shishek, but I don't know if I want to do that. I'm actually gonna take Kikuchi and finish our rotation. I hate to use a silver round on a starter, but I want to guarantee that that, that diamond round is either going to be a really good reliever or a really good uh, hitter in our lineup. I'm kind of hoping it pops up here so that we have a choice between the two. Can we go to that diamond round? No, we cannot. Okay, so we're actually going to have to put a common in the bull. Well, actually, we could take a common second baseman and hope that, yeah, let's do that. We'll take a common second baseman, Steve Wilkerson. He's got 79 speed. Most likely he's going to end up coming off our bench. And then the bronze round pops up. Okay, so we have to take, this is gonna finish our bullpen right here. I think I'm gonna go with Tommy Canely. Another guy that throws really hard. At least he has a, uh, a change up, whereas the uh, Archie Bradley and Brandon Marcard don't have a change up. I'll take Tommy Canely just because of that. And now we get another bronze round to pop up. Hunter Dozier is just a budget baller at bronze. He's gonna be on the squad. Last common round. I think I'm gonna go go with Lugo here, 72 speed. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do Lugo, and now we gotta go. There's three rounds left, okay? We got a bronze round, a silver round, and a diamond round left. We need to upgrade second base, potentially right field if Nick Cassianos is gonna be a bench guy. Could potentially upgrade first base or give Edwin a platoon. We can even, maybe even upgrade a catcher, you never know. But the biggest thing I think is getting an upgrade at second base. Don't know if that's gonna happen here because Adam Rosales is not good. Once again, I find myself taking the most speed that is on the board, and that is Garcia. Silver round pops up, so the very last round of this draft is gonna be a diamond round. We could take Fernando Tatis, who has gold fielding, plus 16 inside edge. Corey Dickerson's a card that smashes righties, but I'm gonna go with Billy Hamilton. I've actually hit the ball well with him this year, batting 660. He's four for six in the six at-bats I've had with him competitively. He's plus 10, Grit would be the best pinch runner in the game besides Ricky Henderson. Uh, yeah, let's get Billy Hamilton, and then the diamond round is a very good one. <laughs> oh, it's a very good one. I would have liked to have seen a diamond second baseman pop up, but that is A-OK. -okay. I rake with Freddie Freeman, so I think that's where I'm going to go. We could use Edwin Encarnacion as our primary pinch hitter, maybe move some positions around. We'll see. We'll check that out in just a second. For right now, though, got to go with Freddie Freeman in the final round. Diamond first baseman on the squad. He's got the plus 12 lefty today, and we're going to win this first game. All right, here's the lineup. We're going to go with Willie Mays Signature Series, then Freddie Freeman, Eddie Matthews, Nick Castellanos, David Peralta, Gary Sanchez, Corey Seager, and, and then uh, the pitcher spot in the eight hole with Steve Wilkerson nine. And the reason I'm doing that is because... Uh, Lugo can play second base. The plan is that we'll have Hunter Dozier, Edwin Encarnacion as our pinch hitters at the eight spot and nine spot. And then if we need to take Wilkerson out for someone like Encarnacion or Hunter Dozier, or even a pinch hitter like Bill, pinch hitter, pinch runner Billy Hamilton situation, we'll be able to put a second baseman in that spot for him. So there's a good chance we're not even going to hit with Steve Wilkerson. The top of this lineup is gross got to hit in battle royale to win anyway we've got to put some runs on the board we got a huge one through like seven of this lineup is dirty let's try and win this first game it's been really tough for us to do this year we've struggled with it and uh <laughs> let's try and get our winning ways here with battle royale get our footing in battle royale i guarantee you our opponent also has willie mays it always happens to me whenever i get that huge first round player oh he took frank thomas okay he also has that 92 jose bautista and aj pollock so he has no diamonds in his pen, but he does have two golds in his pen. Whereas we have just the one gold, a couple silvers. I like his lineup. I do. He's the Scranton Dunders. AJ Frank 77. Let's see if we can get a win. We're going to Fenway. Our opponent has a 23 and 16 rank seasons record. He's probably not excited about looking at my record. Hopefully that puts him, hopefully that frazzles him a little bit. Let's go. We get Drew Smiley and Archie Bradley warmed up right away. And we're gonna try and get a knock with Willie Mays to start things off here. We're using reticle from strike zone two. I've been, I've been doing pretty good with this hitting view. I'm gonna try and stick to it. Took a while to pitch, throw a slider away. I was gonna say, if it's a fastball down the middle, I'm gonna square this bad boy up. I went down and chased it. Little over anxious there. Should have been 2-0, instead we ground out, that's all me. 2-0 to Freddie Freeman. This is where we should have been with Willie Mays. Let's make up for it. Pick that man up, Freddie. Pick him up, Freddy! And it gets down and it went by him! I don't know who that is in left. We caught a break. 
I'll take it. One out double for Freddie Freeman, and that's gonna bring up Eddie Matthews with Nick Cassianos on deck. Through that same, he threw that in. Whoa, he knocks it down. And he makes the play. Frank Thomas, the common fielder, lays out to keep it in front of him, makes the play, brings up Nick Cassianos. Wow. But Nick Cassianos drills one to right, and man, two hard hit balls to the right side. An amazing play by Frank Thomas, and then a fly out to right field, and we leave the runner stranded. Not, that is a typical battle royale start for me this year. First pitch to AJ Pollock. Willie Mays is going to get that easy one down. He's up Devin Mezzarocco. I'm going to get Archie Bradley in this game. He's got a bunch of righties. Righty, 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 righty to start his lineup. Four straight. Stay away from him with the cutter for now. Save the inside half for when the big dogs come up. Stay away from Mezzarocco. Make him feel like that's just how I'm going to pitch the righties. That's a hanging curveball that could have been crushed. But that'll be the second out of the inning. He doesn't quite barrel it. Two down. Way out in front of the cutter, and he gets... Mm. He's going to poke that one-two curveball down out to right for a base hit. So he's got a runner on first now with two down for Jose Bautista. This card rakes. Yeah, he went down and got that one. First pitch fastball to Jose Bautista. Casianos didn't get a good read on it, but he'll get there, and that'll do it for the first inning. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. We left the runner on. He left the runner on. Who strikes first? I've seen it coming. He's got two fastballs and a cutter. He's got the slider as well, but no changeup, so he can't pull the string on you. Kind of predictable. I like facing guys like this, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. And that's exactly what we do. I knew he was worried about the runner, so he threw the fastball up and away. It'll be a single for Gary Sanchez. He goes to third because he was running. We got runners on the corners for Corey Seager with nobody out, and we are cooking with gas. Seager gaps. It's not even remotely close to deep enough, and he made an error. Wow. I do not know who that is in left field. He's going to get a force out at second base because I sent Gary back, but he made the error. Wow. Do you want to talk about catching a break? We're, we were due to catch a break in Battle Royale, though. Now we're going to try and blow it up. Jump on a frustration fastball with Edwin. Instead, we're going to go around the horn for a double play. He did throw the first pitch fastball. I thought he would come upstairs. He went thigh high. I didn't barrel it. We did get the one run on the error, though. Let's capitalize. Ground ball into the shift. And one down here in the second. I'll bring up Kiki. Do you love me? First pitch curveball. We hung it a bit. Ground ball up the middle. And there's no way he's getting it. I thought we had an angle at first, but he, he was moving slow. Seager. I, show me some range one time. It's going to go to the pinch runner. He's got Steve Finley. He's got the 87, 89 speed. He's taking off first pitch, too. Look at that. And a ground ball. Beautiful hit and run, just like us. He got a late jump, though. He had to go back to second because he didn't tell him to go. Okay, all right. So first and second. Nobody out. I'm sorry. There's one out. We are a double play ball from getting out of this. I'm going to go to Brandon Morrow out of the pen. We'll get Canely warmed up. That is a very hittable pitch, and he missed it. Okay, he did not capitalize there. That was a bad pitch, and that'll be the second out of the inning. Still got that 87 speed at second. He's a single from tying this game. We need a big out. Who does he have coming off of his bench? He can't use the Steve Finley as a pinch hitter, which would have been clutch for him here. I wonder if he has another good lefty on his bench. Does not. It's going to be the righty, Garrett Hampson. Good young player for the Rockies. Middle infielder can run a little bit. Ball one. Front door cutter now. Ball two. I'll go to the slider down and away. Ball three. Uh oh, I can't allow AJ Pollock to come up here on a free pass. 3 0. Fastball in. He was taken all the way there. Throw to Heater again. Fouls it off. We got him in a full count now. I'm going to go to the slider. I missed my spot, but we front doored it. Please go get it, Freddy. Thank you. Three outs from a win. Let's get an insurance run. He's going to bring Nick Vincent into the game. Okay, so his bullpen's not nearly as deep as I thought it may be. Um, we can warm up the lefty just in case it gets deep, but we'll have Canely going next inning. I am going to pinch hit Hunter Dozier here for Steve Wilkerson, and then we'll go to Lugo defensively at second base. Brings up Willie Mays for his second at bat. And Willie Mays rips a gap. That's going to be at least two. 
I would say maybe three, but AJ Pog was playing very deep in center. That'll be a one-out double for Willie Mays. Let's get the goons rolling. Oh man, Willie Mays swing is pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Freddie Freeman all over that ball. And Freddie Freeman is also, well, that was just shy of the warning track. I would plug that the merch is in the description. I was gonna, the merch is in the description. Brings up Eddie Matthews with a runner on third, two outs. And he rips that up the middle. Hard ground ball out the center for an RBI single. And it gets past AJ Pollock. My opponent was playing around a little bit on the controller. We're gonna go to third with Eddie Matthews. He's gonna be safe. So we'll have a runner 90 feet away with two outs for Nick Castellanos on our cutter. I know he throws pretty hard. Jammed me there. Frank Thomas, I think, is going to get there. He won't, but it goes foul. Okay, 0-2. So we got life. And Nick Castellanos makes him pay for it. A double down the line. It's a single down the line. Don't get ahead of yourself, Shelfie. Don't get ahead of yourself. Single down the line. Billy Hamilton steps in now. First pitch fastball for sure. Oh, he threw the off speed, but we're gonna, oh! Oh, what a play! GG! Wow! That was amazing. Oh, cut her up and away. Pretty good swing, but we got the best player in the game out there in center. One out. Devin Mezzarocco in the two holes gonna step in. He swings at the first pitch and saws it off out to right for a single. Castellanos has it. I think. Oh, 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 you better get back, sir. I think uh, it's about time we get Morrow out of this game. Now we'll bring Tommy Canely in. He's got his goons coming in. I want to at least have a fresh arm out there. Canely has a changeup we could work. We'll go to that first pitch. Way too much plate, but he rolls it to short. Six, four, three, double play, ball game, W. We finally win the first game of Battle Royale run. I will have more gameplay with this team up later in the week. I think I might do the same thing I did when I won World Series. I might just turn the face cam off, put the headphones on, try to play to my best abilities and really see how deep on a deep into a run we could go. And I'll have that game play up later this week. Finally, we win a game after a BR draft and we can actually get a get a, a BR run going on the channel instead of just doing a draft and then a new draft and then a new draft. We're actually gonna go on a run. I'm telling you, the 12 wins are coming in hot. They're happening. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are new. I'm out. Peace. If you're a franchise guy, you don't necessarily like Diamond Dynasty, this is for you. There's also Diamond Dynasty rewards within this mode. So if you're a Diamond Dynasty guy, this is for you. It can take anywhere from 12 to 18 hours to finish an entire run on March to October. So you can get it done over a, a couple of sit downs. If you're not a hardcore gamer like myself, this could be something that takes you an entire week of just playing for a couple hours. So let's do it. We are going to jump in, of course, the first one that we're gonna do, obviously.